What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome and what we got going on today, what you saw in the thumbnail and I uh, want to let you guys know too, we are updating the website so just kind of bear that in mind. But um, going down here, you definitely want to sign up for our newsletter. That way when those little Black Friday deals drop, you're going to already know that we're dropping them and you can save some cash that way. Also, I'm going to scroll down and we already, have, we already have savings that are here, 30 bucks off on these Team Crowley vehicles. Also, we got coupon codes that are here all the time. So you can save a little bit of money on that one. And scrolling down a little bit more, hours of operation. This varies a little bit too, but this kind of gives you an idea. Um, and also, we don't ship outside of the USA. And like, we get a lot of people asking about that. So yes, it's only in the US only, the 48 states. You can always call, text. Uh, texting, you know, works for me. And you're like, hey, I'm looking for this. We can always shoot you a link with it. Or if there's questions, concerns about an order, you can always drop us right here in that area. All right, and that's that. Just want to give you that heads up on our website. Let's get over these pre-orders. So these pre-orders, we are taking pre-orders as of now. Um, we are expecting these in December. That can all change, so don't hold it against us. We don't. We're not the shipper. So. Um, you know, people are asking like, hey, where's it at? Where's that? I don't know anymore, pretty much more than you do as far as that. So as of right now, that is the deal is sometime in uh, December. That was looking on Team Associates. Again, that can change. So uh, based on that. But thing as of right now, those prices are the prices. Um, you can use some of those coupon codes, save yourself. Uh, actually, uh, unfortunately, you can't use coupon codes on Team Associates stuff. I'm sorry. Uh, that says part of Team Associates stuff. You can yell at them. They don't allow you to do it. Uh, all right, so I know, a downer. All right, so two different options here, no kits or anything like that at this point in time, but a ready to run, no charger, no battery, and then you have the op option of a LiPo battery and charger. So just in case some of you guys are kind of new to it and you're like, I just wanna get a battery, it's already comes with everything, I just need four AA batteries, and you're off and running after you charge it, right? All right, so let's do this one with the, the combo, this way we just knock everything out for you guys um, so we do offer there's Klarna options so there's different payment options too those basically you can chop it up into like four easy payments you can see it right here it shows you it's basically a bi-weekly thing so every two weeks you'll get $105 dropped on your card paid off and that way you don't have to pay any interest or anything like that it's not coming on Klarna as any interest but on your card it would so just kind of let you know with that one all right, so what do you guys think about this thing? I'm liking it, and it looks good. It's got skid plates on it, because you know, this thing's got a lot of power in it. If you haven't seen the video, you can just scroll down a little bit, and you can see this thing does standing back flips. It was pretty pretty intense, so I like it. That is, it is nice. It's got front LEDs, two white LEDs, and two red LEDs in the rear, but monster looking tires on there. Looks good. It's got a nice side profile look to it. Uh, yeah. It's got the wheelie bars on there because it's going to need wheelie bars. So you're going to have to probably ease on that throttle a little bit with this thing. So let's take a look at one of these pictures here so you can kind of see it. Nice reinforcement on the top part of the chassis on and off switch here. Now, I was looking at the battery information so that way I could kind of relay that over to you guys as well that are watching. Is that it comes with a single 4S 4000 milliamp 35C discharge battery. So, not going to give you loads of runtime, but it's going to give you some runtime on it. I don't know how long that is. That all varies based on how you drive. So, um, I normally like 5000 milliamp batteries, is more like a nice, even playing to uh, play around with an RC vehicle. So I don't, but you guys, you can always change them out, man. You always get your own. If by chance, um, if you're getting the kit, uh, just kind of keep that in mind, maybe get another battery. Uh, this is, this does have a Dean's connection on it or T plug. Now looking at everything, it said a single plug. If you look here, this is the electronic speed controller. This is a uh, powering, you know, this is what's sending that juice to that motor, which that motor is a 2100 KV motor, motor. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah that's where all that torque's coming from is that beast right there. So uh, I'm a little bit concerned as far as to why they did it that way and not like a where they had two connections, but because it's a little bit of space issue there. 
But you can, if you're good at soldering and everything like that, you can put it on there and, and put two batteries in there. I just don't know how how big these uh, or how big these straps, these um, Velcro straps are, or whatever hook and loop, whatever you want to call them now. Um, how that's going to all kind of work. So, but that doesn't stop anybody from getting bigger hook and loop or Velcro straps to uh, accommodate bigger batteries. So if you're in the hobby, you know, you always got workarounds, man, as far as when it comes to that, you know, so that's the nice thing about the hobby and you can make it your own if something doesn't work so mo so well. So yeah, aluminum shocks on this, this dude here. I'm not going to play this video because it's going to probably play music and it's going to give me a copyright strike. I didn't pay that music. And uh, you guys can look at it at your own leisure on that one. But here's up and close in your face picture as well. So you can see this thing. This does have aluminum chassis. It's a four millimeter uh, thickness on it. And with that chassis brace on there, that, that is going to give it some nice rigidity. Rigidity. <laughs> it's going to be nice and strong. So I like it. Definitely a little antenna tube. Probably not much of an antenna sitting in there. That little, but... um. Your little receiver that's in there, that's nice. I like that. You just take that little body clip out. That pops open and get right to your receiver. That's a good idea. I like that. The servo, it's right there. Super simple to do some upgrades to it. You know, replace it with something stronger if you needed. But it looks like, and even just like the motor, this looks like it's pretty, pretty good to get to some of the stuff on here. So I like that part of it. We'll have to see how that you know how that works as far as once you have to tear it apart or something like that. But here's the chassis as well, the flipping, the flipping chassis. So um, yeah, see how good this thing is. I like it. Team Associates is pretty good with a lot of their cars, so I'm liking it. It's got your turnbuckles that are here too, so you can adjust it. I think for a basher, you probably don't need turnbuckles, but you guys can let me know on that one. I I just feel like sometimes maybe that could be a weak link. You know, I don't know. It depending on how thick these are and how good as far as material on it. So we shall see. I'm not really brutal with my vehicles. Yeah, my daughter might say something different. But um, as far as that one goes, yeah, this looks really nice. Loom, those aluminum shocks. Now, okay, so I saw CVAs for the, I think they're CVAs front end. They did say CVAs for the front and rear. So it's got a dog bone style on one side, and then it's got the constant velocity axles on the other most of the time what that means is just allows more flexibility where the dog bones will kind of bind up when you're on a on a turn something like this you can kind of look like there's only so much that can turn and before it starts to bind up and it starts to want to push this open or whatnot it's just the cvas are just a nicer way of of rotation so let's see if i can get maybe a better picture of it here now you can't really see it in any of those but it's there and not you can't really see much in there but they are CVA's front and rear. So hopefully you guys can kind of squint and look at that. But it is a nice vehicle. It is nice. Uh, like I said, man, just check this out. All in all, looks good. Adjustments. So I'm digging it. Hopefully you guys are as well. And we are taking pre-orders. So if by chance you're like, yeah, I'm ready to get one of these things. Yeah, well, you have to wait until they actually get shipped. But if you're anxious to get one, you're like, I, wanna, I just want to get it. So I know a way I, that way I know I'm getting one and I'm good. And like, all right, cool. And we appreciate that when you uh, head over to our website and start buying stuff, you know, pays bills. And I, we appreciate that, the whole family. So that is that. Wrap this thing up here. Yeah, like I said, you guys can kind of check it all out. Just kind of stroll, stroll all through it all. And like I said, it looks like a pretty nice vehicle. And uh, thank you again, Chris. He's the one, he's a subscriber. And also he's got... He texted me and let me know. It's like, hey, man, there's a new Team Associate just dropped the vehicle. So that was pretty cool. So I thank you again, Chris. On that one, I figured I'd share it with you guys as well. So until next time, you guys take care. Thank you again for watching. Check us out again at omgrc.com. Catch you real soon. Peace.